Okay, this short video is just maybe to give some assistance to people who are trying to get access to their correct areas in the Moodle virtual learning environment. I just want to draw your attention that uh, the new Moodle uh, location for IT Sligo is now at vle.itsligo.ie. If you access it through the itsligo.ie website, it will bring you that. That's the new location. Last year's Moodle is available on the same location as last year, but it's just an archive. There's no teaching going on in there. Now, this diagram is just to show you how the areas and Moodles are laid out. Um, so if you're doing a particular program of study, which will require you to take several subjects or modules, these may well be the subjects or modules down at the bottom here. OK, so you will have a Moodle area for each subject or module that you're taking. You will also have a, an area in Moodle that you can go into called the program support area. And that's for you to get information just on your program. It also allows you to ask questions about the program. OK, and in addition to that, there's also a general support area. Now, that's for all our distance learners, our online distance learners, and you can find it. There's a, an awful lot of information there pertaining to distance learning and the institution, uh, the institute in general that you can find in there. But it's not for questions about your specific program support, your specific program. OK, that'll be found in this area down here, the program support area. Also, if you have questions about any individual modules or subjects, you go into the subject module and you can ask your questions in there or you may see the information already posted. OK, so how do we get access to these? Well, the first thing is you must get access to Moodle at vle.itsligo.ie. So if you just bear with me a second, I'll pull over into the frame here. Uh, vle.itsligo to log in. Now, I should draw your attention to what's over on the right here. OK, if you're a first time student, you have to be registered uh, with the college. So you have to go through the registration process you were asked to go to when you were accepted onto the course. And once you're registered, you'll be you'll be given a student number and your account will be set up in 24 hours. So you'll have your student number S00123456 or whatever. OK, that's your that's for logging into IT Sligo services. But your initial password is sent to your date of birth in the day DD MM YYY format. Um, so you will need to change that. So what you do is you go to this area password.itsligo.ie and really what you do is change password here. You can ignore the other ones, okay? Uh, if you already have changed your password in the past and you, or, and you don't know what your password is, you're going to have to contact IT services. This is if you know what your password is. And if you're a new student, it's DD, it's your date of birth. So you follow this link here. You put in your student name, so it's S01234567. OK, and your old password might be the 5th, 05 of June, 06, um, 1939. OK, and then you would put in here what new password you want. Now, that's not a real student. So if you were on the system, you do this. Remember, you put in your new password twice to make sure they match so that you haven't show that, uh, so that you don't make a mistake and put them in. Then you would change password. Now, if you're not on the system, if it doesn't recognize this, or if you haven't entered this in the proper format, actually, it'll give you an error message at this point. You can try this a few times to make sure that you put in the your existing password. That's the date, month, year correctly. If it doesn't work, you're going to have to c contact IT services. So let's go back here. So say you manage to reset your password then you can now log into here which are s01234567 and your password now, i think i have one here that uh, i'll just take it off screen because i want to log in i'm just going to put in a username and password okay and i will log in 
and as soon as I log in this is what I get here okay so say for instance uh, oh and it's the quality management level 7 program that that you're enrolled in you should have been sent an email on quality management level 7 um, uh, you should have been sent an email that gave you the the program support area okay that's the program support area you can see there and an enrollment key to get into all of those areas you need enrollment keys okay so let's go and look for that so you can just do a general search here but you'll probably be sent sent the link if you're not you'll probably need to contact us so the quality support okay you see it's looking for an enrollment key here okay and I am just because I haven't got the enrollment key quite to hand I'm just going to pause this recording okay we've got the um, enrollment key so I'm going to just pop it in here okay I'm not going to show that enrollment key you can unmask it there but I don't want people who are not on this to be getting that enrollment key so the enrollment key that you've been sent you get it in there okay and now you're in you'll never have to do that again and you'll notice that this is the BSC quality level 7 support area and there's lots of information about that here particularly I want to draw your attention to is down here there's information on the modules that you'll be taking in actual fact there are two groups in here there's people who've been in since last year the second years and the first years so these are the modules that are for first years okay this one is for first years only this is for first years only this is for first years and second years those are for second years so if you were second years you take those three first year those you see there you've got quality 2014 that's uh, ms2014 those are the enrollment keys when i click on those so it might be a good idea even to copy that highlight it right click copy okay so let's follow that and let's open that there let's make that a bit bigger and I would pop in the enrollment key and enroll in that subject and you wouldn't have to do it again so I'm not going to go ahead and do that I don't want to be enrolling this test student in too many subjects so that's how you would enroll in there okay um, let's go back to the program support area here okay you'll notice as well that there is a general support area okay now somewhere here there should be oh yes here we have it here the enrollment key for the general support here is there is general support so if I want to go into the general support area you would click here okay let's make that bit bigger oh and I've gone straight into it so I should have been asked for an enrollment key but this test student must have enrolled it in before if I'd been asked for an enrollment key I would have typed in general support okay now in there there's just an awful lot of information okay lots of sections you should familiarize it you're not going to remember it all but there are lots of sections there what are we down here induction exercises for you online learners a lot of you should have been doing last week at induction information on examinations uh, this is a bit long library uh, information technology service IT services various things about Moodle and Adobe Connect the live lecture system downloading of recordings lots of information there now this is for all the distance learners I think we're gonna have about 1300 distance learners this year so there's lots of stuff there even down at the end I think there's an optional one for springboard that only springboard students can use there's some other things there that springboard students can see okay so let's go up now there is one thing I want to show you here uh, we're generally fairly easy by people going into the general support area and in the general support area just in case it hasn't been sent to you we've got actually um, links to all the program support areas remember let me see if I can take out a few of these out of the way remember we're now in the general support area up here 
Um, so if you're in the gen program support area, you can get up to the general support area because the information is there to get there. Also, uh, in the general support area, I was saying I do have information on all the program support areas. No, wrong one. This is the one I want. Okay. So we're in the general support area for all the distance learners and there's links to all the program support areas. Okay, program support areas. So you find the one. Now, I don't have the enrollment keys here because we just don't generally want people wandering into the wrong one. But if you haven't been sent your enrollment key, email your course coordinator who should give you the course the enrollment key for that so you should be able to get back into that so where did we come from we came from the I'd say if I tried to get into another one now I'm logged in as this test user say for instance this one here it should refuse me entry and ask me the enrollment key okay uh, did that open in a new window oh gosh I'm afraid the menu system has gone off that so I'm going to have to A little trick here. Go back to the general support area. Okay, the menu system drops away when the, that goes up, so I'll just leave that aside. I'm back here in the program support area for level seven quality, and as I say, you can link to the general support area and also link to your subjects. I think that's pretty well it. Um, I should probably go back to the um, login page uh, let's log out and say that if uh, I say a note for continuing students if you don't remember your password you're going to have to contact the help desk um, the password reset that's available here uh, doesn't seem to work very efficiently as far as I'm aware really the only way is to contact the help desk we'll see if I can get some information in the general support area on that um, might be able to okay no I'm not gonna get it there um, the it'd be nice if I could bring it up for you here now okay I'm afraid I don't have it to hand here, but uh, you will be sent, uh, just ask for the IT services help desk or we will uh, send out uh, uh, a phone number and an email address. It's helpdesk at itsligo.ie. Okay, um, sorry for this rough and ready video. I wanted to get something out to you. So I hope that has been useful to you um, and that you're able to get in and get access to all your Moodle areas.